Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Truth Be Told. Father God, thank you for waking me up today, Lord. Thank you for loving me, Father God, for redeeming me, Lord. Oh, my goodness. Lord, I don't know what I would do without you. I'm just glad I never have to find out. I cannot be without your presence today, my Lord. I pray that you speak through me today, Father. That you give me revelation, Father God, on your word, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. How you all doing? I want to talk to you about the hundreds, if not thousands, of choices we make in a day. There's so many scriptures about choices. I picked out like three or four that are so, so powerful that I pray today that you are open to receive. Because I think that we're not even aware that we have choices every single day. And maybe we're aware of it, but we think that we have to think a certain way or, you know, we're just used to doing things a certain way. I'm here to tell you that God has set before us a choice to either accept him or reject him, right? God gives us a choice, to, uh, like I said, to choose him or reject him. Deuteronomy 30, 19 says, I call heaven and earth to confess against you today that I have set before you life and death, blessings and curse. Therefore, choose life that you and your offspring may live. God is telling us to choose life, to choose him. But again, it's our choice with that free will, right? Another one is really good. It says, uh, Psalms 25, 12, it says, Who is the man who fears the Lord? Him will I instruct in the way that he should choose. Remember, who is the man that fears the Lord, right? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Fear of reverence of who he is. Not because he's bad. He loves us. He sacrificed himself for us, honey. It's about reverential fear. Fear because we know that he's control of everything. Oh, honey, when you get this, it just does something to you. Okay. Oh, okay. Let me see where I was. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. This is God talking. Girl, he knocking. He knocking. He says, if anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come into him and will dine with him and he with me. Hallelujah. Again, this is a choice. If we hear God's voice and he's knocking and you open the door, you got to make a choice to open the door and invite God in to your circumstance. These are choices that we make. James 4, 7 says, submit yourself, therefore, to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. There's two choices right there. Submitting is a choice to submit, to surrender. It's a choice that we make, right? Resisting the devil. How many times that the devil comes into us every day and he talks to us and we just go along with his plan? Yes, yes. Get angry. We get angry. S say this to this person. Hurt this person. Now we just go along like he's like, we're like a puppet. He pulling our string. <laughs> Girl, you need to cut them puppet strings and them devil strings off your life and start listening to the only one, the creator of the universe. So take responsibility for your joy. Take responsibility for your life. Joy is a choice. We have to stop blaming circumstances and people for the lack of joy in our lives. Peace is a choice, right? Forgiveness is a choice. Surrender is a choice. Resisting is a choice. And love is a choice. I pray today that you choose life, that you choose to honor and glorify God, that you choose to walk in his instruction, that you choose him, that Open the door, honey, and invite him in. He's waiting. Thank God that he doesn't get tired of knocking. Because some of us, uh, he's been knocking for a long time. I think it's time that we let him in and start shifting things in our life today. Don't you agree? I am on Open the Door Road and Hallelujah Parkway. Where are you at? Holla. 